Hey guys, it's Max Techish here. So today is uh, actually going to be my first tour, and I'm going to start out with something simple for you guys. Uh, it's going to be a Ticket Classic server. So the first thing you want to do is click the first link in my description. It's going to take you to the Ticket Classic uh, webpage, and you want to click right here where it says Server Download. And then it's going to download the server. Once you've uh, downloaded it, you want to open up and it'll bring you to this menu. Now, on your desktop, you want to create a folder and name it whatever you will. I'm just going to name it a uh, ticket classic server. And you want to bring all these files into that folder. Okay. Now, just to start it off, you want to run launch that bat. This is going to generate all the other necessary files. Alright, then you type stop. Go ahead and close that out. Alright, first thing you want to do is change your server IP. Uh, now, to find your own IP, you want to go right, you want to right click your start icon and then go to command prompt. Here, you type IP config. Now, you want to find your IPv4 address. And you see, here it is. I'm going to blur all the others out so don't worry about mine. But uh, there's my IPv4 address, IC 0.9. Now you want to come over here, and you want to type that there. Now you can close this out. Now the only other thing we're going to worry about is uh, you can change your uh, MOTD. You can name that whatever you want, and that's all we're going to do for now. And you want to save that, or if you're on Notepad, click File Save. Same thing. Alright, next uh, we're going to port forward. Now, this may, this most likely will not work for everyone. Everyone has a different router. You're going to have to Google how to access your router. For me, I have to type this. I'm going to blur all that out, so don't worry about that. 192.168.0.1 And then you log in. Now, they all have a, uh, a standard username and password. They're all different, but they're uh, every router has its own standard thing to log into. If it's your first time, you want to log in. Go to something like Gateway or whatever yours has. It might be firewall, it might be wireless firewall. And you want to go to forwarding, and here is where you want to do your port forwarding. So, since we're uh, we're going to do ours now. Now you saw mine was 192.168.0.9 and you want to add in the Minecraft port. Now mine has an option to set it as both. You may not, you may only have the option to set it as one or the other. So you may need to make two. One for TCP and one for UDP. I can set both. Then you want to enable that. All right. Now that you've port forwarded, you want to come back here, and you want to launch your server. And there it is. It's launched. Now ignore uh, a lot of these error messages. A lot of them happen. Uh, it's part of the tech server the way it was built. Some items contradict, but it doesn't cause any problems. So don't worry about that. Now, before making this server official, you want to stop it and make sure you have your RAM set up correctly. Allow allocated RAM. You want to edit launch.bad. You can use uh, Notepad or you can use Notepad++. It doesn't matter. And this three and two here are is the uh, amount of RAM. The maximum of three gigs and the minimum of two gigs. Now. For your computer or slash server, uh, you may not have that much RAM, or you may have more RAM. I have 8 gigabytes, so technically, I could go over here and throw in a 5 and 3. But there's uh, no real reason to do that if you're only going to play with you know 5 to 10 people on your server. So I'll just save that like that. And rerun it. 
go. Next, uh, we're going to find your external IP, and that is the IP you want uh, if you're going to have a friend join you. That's what they would type in. You want to go to Google. Know that. You want to go to Google and type what's, and uh, it should pop up what's my IP. You can just Google that itself. And boom, right there. Pulls up your external IP. That is what uh, someone would use to connect to you. So uh, give that to all your friends or whoever else you want to connect. Alright guys, I'm going to head over to Minecraft and I'll meet you there. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to connect to uh, your personal server. What you want to do is you want to go to Add Server or Direct Connect on Add Server. We'll just uh, type in... Alright, now remember that uh, IP address we put in there earlier? That's what you want to put in here. Now I run my server on a different port than uh, most servers, so uh, you put your port here, whatever you set it to. Most, you know, you most likely set it left it at 25565. I, I prefer a different port. And there we go. Nice package. And we're in. Thanks guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.